So in this chapter, we're going to add the Google Maps directive. So there's already a package. We're just going to copy that over here and add that package. And then we need to add the dependency to our app. So while it's downloading, you can go here. And let's just make it a little bit nicer here. And let's write here UI GMAP Google Maps. And this is the name of it. And yeah, now we can start adding uh, our our maps in. So first, let's go um, to our list and let's put it. Um, let's place it here under parties, and let's just. Add a div, and this div will add the the actual the UI. So we have UI the, the directive. So we have the name of the directive is UI G Map Google Map, which holds all the logic, and then it has we can define here with the attributes of center. So that will be we we'll have something that's called map center and then the events on top of that map and we'll have the map with events that we'll define and the zoom level so it also will hold the zoom and uh, now this uh, uh, this uh, uh, the Google Maps API has to have the Google Maps directive has to have a fixed uh, fixed CSS. So first of all, let's add it. Let's start with adding it into the party details. So let's add it here. And so we're going to create a class and we call it a party details map to. Um, to make let, let's call it uh, angular google maps container and there we just define like a fixed width and height so angular google map container and we're going to do the same later on and now we need to define our scope map so let's go we need to define this object so let's go here and just define it let's go here let's do scope map and this will this is an object it will have a center let's just like it's it, it's combined with latitude and let's just throw a number in there and with long YouTube and another number and there's also a zoom level you can read more about it on the Google Maps API and there's events and in the meantime we don't want to do any event and the next thing we need to do is actually create the CSS uh, so we can just add to parties, we can add directory that called styles, and underneath, let's create like let's name it parties CSS, and let's take this class and make the height. Uh, 400 pixels and this with 400 pixels great so now let's see if we have a 
um, if we have a map actually. Let's run, refresh, and we have a map. And it has a zoom and everything, we can play with it, that's nice. But now we want to actually create the party's marker on top of it. So, let's add that. So, inside our UI map, we're going to create a directive that's called UI GMAP Marker. And this directive will hold attributes for its coordinates and, and it will be on the party's location. And it ha will have like options that will show in a second what they are. So map.marker options will be defined on the map. And we're going to listen to events map.marker.events and we're gonna have the ID of that party to distinguish it we're gonna use the party ID and we'll see in a second how we use all that so inside the controller let's go back and we define the map so we have the center we have the zoom but we want to add the click event so let's define the click this is a function and that function will get map model event name and the original event arguments original event arguments now first we're gonna check if scope part exists and if not we're gonna just return and do nothing <coughs> then we're gonna check if scope party has a location so if scope party location exists doesn't exist and again it's dollar scope then we're just gonna make it a empty object and once we're clicking we're gonna take the the location uh, from the click and throw it into the party so I'm gonna have party scope party dot location and we're gonna take the latitude and we're going to make it equal to the original args the first one is lat long long and we're going to take the lat this is how we get that and same thing for longitude And this time we're going to take the long. Now, because we are, this event is outside of Angular scope because it's not an ng click event, it's a click event. And in Angular 1, we have to tell Angular that something happened outside of it. So we're going to, to do that, we're just going to go and do scope apply. And that will tell Angular, listen, something happened, run your digest cycle again and make sure and, and update everything. So this is for the click. Now we also want to add a little bit of like options to the marker. So let's have the marker and inside it has the options. And let's make it draggable. So we can drag it and move it around and, 
and let's listen to events on it. So when we drag the, so let's li listen to drag end, drag end, and when drag end happens, it gives us uh, the marker itself, the event name, and the arms. So let's check if uh, we have a location for our party, and if not, like before, we're gonna initialize it. It was empty object, and now let's do the same. Like here, let's take the new position and and make it equal to that. But this time, the position sits inside the marker get position. Now let's run this. Let's have a look. So we are inside the same party. There is no location, but if I'm clicking, you can see that I'm updating the location of the party and it updates everywhere, just like if I would change its name. Now, here, if I would click somewhere, it will. you see that it bounces because for a second it updates, but I don't have permissions. So it's rolling back and I can't move it. I can also drag this somewhere and it will update everywhere. So that is really this is really nice. Now let's add multiple markers. Let's experiment. So let's maybe add a map here for all the current parties that I have. So let's go here and copy this thing into our parties list let's put it here and now let's we still need like map center map zoom i don't need to have any events on that um, but i don't have one marker anymore i have multiple markers so that's the name of the multiple markers and i need to define the module for that so the models are our parties. Each party will have a location and the coordinates of each uh, party will sit inside the location field. And this is how the syntax works. And we have a click event and we can watch over so just like on clicked if you want to do that and we can fit the map into our uh, into the sum of all the the of all the lists so the all the markers will be inside and the id for each of them will be will sit in the parties id and and we'll do rebuild all and this will help um the map stay updated i think i don't remember but uh, now we need to initialize all of that and we're gonna do it every time we're gonna we run the auto run because we want to update it every time there so every time we have new list of parties we want to display them on the map so once we we are here on the promise from auto run we're gonna go scope parties and for each of them we're gonna call the function and inside we're gonna define the click so each party on clicked 
you can call function on marker click and send the party to handle that click if you want to do anything with it that's nice and now let's define our map so scope map like before let's define the center so make it like just the, the same center as here and the zoom level the same and that's it we have our map and let's say okay so let's say if i'm clicking the 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 party on the map go inside the party details just like you did with uh, we did it with um, with the list so well let's define that on marker click function so on marker click um, is equal to a function it gets the marker and at this and now let's go so state dot go this is UI routers syntax we're gonna need to add this into our dependency injection and now we just need to give it a the name of the state we want to go to which is party details this is defined here on our roots. You can see that we have party detail. And we're going to send it the party ID, which again defined here. And the party ID will be equal to marker.id, which we defined here because we're sending the party. So now let's add this as a dependency. And now let's check the code. Let's see if everything is running. So we're refreshing. So here we have a list of parties. Let's add a few more locations into more parties. Let's add this location here now you can see we have two parties and they are and the map automatically fits into both of them let's add another one this will be in a different direction here now you can see we have three ones and if i want to click on one of them it will go inside that party and now i can change that party and it will be updating anywhere so that's how to work with Google Maps, Angular and Meteor.